We are ready to go with the opening ceremonies as the teams are out on the ice, so let's go down to the public address announcer for the introductions of the two clubs. Gentlemen, welcome to the Alphon Arena for tonight's international hockey game between the University of Maine Black Bears and Mar Moscow Spartak of the Soviet Union's elite division. This evening marks the second year in which Maine hockey fans have been privileged to watch a touring Russian team face the Maine Black Bears. It's with a spirit of friendship and international cultural sharing that we host this contest this evening. Here to announce the lineup for the Spartak team is Mr. Rusty Sidowick. Good evening, friends. I will call the names of our players of our Spartak teams. Number one, Viktor Darushenko, goalkeeper. Number 28, Sergei Goloshumov, goalkeeper. Number two, Vadim Tunikov, defense. Number four, Vladimir Zubukov. Number five, Irek Gaimaev. Number seven, Igor Martinov. Number 22, Sergei Fokin. Number 24, Andrei Basagi Basagin. Number 30, Nikolai Davidkin. Number 9, Viktor Tumenev. Forwards. Number 11, Sergei Agaikin. Number 12, Sergei Shepilov. Number 14, Alek Marinin. Number 16, Valery Bragin. Number 17, Vitaly Prohorov. Number 18, Gennady Kurdin. Number 19, Igor Petrov. Number 20, Alexandr Zibin. Number 21, Sergei Varnavsky. Number 25, Igor Boldin. Number 27, Igor Nishukov. And number 29, Alexei Solomakin. Now, the staff of a team, Gennady Shibayev, leader, Mikhail Moskvichov, manager, Boris Mayorov, head coach, Valery Chekalkin, coach, Alexandr Turdeyev, doctor of a team, Konstantin Rogatin, Mashur, and Nikolai Ivanov, very friendly guy, he's interpreter. <laughs> now the lineup for the main Black Bears. Number one in goal from Canloops, British Columbia, Scott King. From Chittawaga, New York, defenseman number two, Bob Beers. From Natick, Mass, defense number three, John Baker. 
from Bangor, Maine. Number four, Vince Guidotti. From Gardner, Maine, on defense. Number five, Eric Weinrich. From Newton, Mass. Defenseman, number six, Jim Burke. From Burnaby, British Columbia. Defenseman, number seven, Dave Nonis. From Reading, Mass, right wing, number eight, Mike Golden. From North Providence, Rhode Island, left wing, number nine, Chris Gambio. From Bowdoin, Maine, left wing, number 10, Mike McHugh. From Cranston, Rhode Island, center, number 11, Dave Capuano. From Edmonton, Alberta, left wing, number 14, Jay Mazur. From Laval, Quebec, number 16, Guy Pierron. From Woodbridge, Ontario, Left wing, number 17, John Macera. From Cranston, Rhode Island, defense, number 18, Jack Capuano. From Salisbury, Mass, right wing, number 19, Bob Corkum. From Jackson, Mississippi, center, number 20, Todd Jenkins. From Burnaby, British Columbia, defense number 21, Claudio Scrimmon. From North Vancouver, British Columbia, center number 22, Dave Wensley. From Chatham, Ontario, center number 23, Todd Studnicka. From Boxford, Mass., right wing, number 24, Rob Brasher. From Yonkers, New York, number 26, center, Steve Santini. From Verdon, British Columbia, left wing, number 27, Bruce Major. From La Salle, Quebec, Number 29, Christian Lalonde. From Prince George, British Columbia, number 30, Al Loring. Now the color guards will go out. Soviet flags being carried by the Army ROTC. American flag being carried by the Air Force ROTC. Please direct your attention to the center for the playing of the Soviet national anthem will be the main test band which will play the two national anthems.
Jermaine Pet Band with our national anthems. The two teams will now exchange gifts as soon as the colors are returned to the stands. The main players have in their hands T-shirts, especially made up for this occasion, that main are in recognition of this game with the United States and Soviet flag on them and the emblem of both of the teams, along with a skater in the middle of it, a main skater. They are being exchanged, and they'll also receive from the main team University of Maine Friends of Maine hockey pins, which the Soviet teams will get, and the Soviet teams also, we do not know what the gift is, the Soviet teams have brought to exchange with the main team. Now this Soviet team, as we mentioned at the start of our broadcast, is considered to be the third best in the Soviet Union, behind the Red Army team, which has traditionally been the champion in the Soviet Union. The Red Army team, since 1946, when the Soviets started hockey in their country, has won 29 championships, including the last 10 in a row. The second best team is considered to be the Soviet Dynamo team, both those teams out of Moscow, and so is this Spartak team. The Spartak team has finished in third place for the last couple of seasons, and the Spartak team has been given some additional lift with some young players, including the goaltender we'll, we'll see tonight. Uh, Gola Shumov is only 21 years old, and he has played in all three of the games thus far. Spartak has defeated Hershey 9-3 in New Haven last night 7-4, and in between they had a 4-4 tie against Binghamton, so they have played three American Hockey League clubs the same league as the main Mariners play in and they've come away with two wins and a tie and Joe Carr uh, we expect tonight the main team will have more than its hands full with a club that can uh, just skate the uh, blades off you when they get going on the ice. That's 20 goals in three games against American Hockey League competition. Obviously players as good as the best, better than the best college players in most cases. So they can really score and they've got, got nothing to lose. They freewheel and they skate and they pass. They do just everything so well because they play together so much. As you talked about last night in the Colorado College game, they play 11 months a year together and at all times every player on that ice is knows where his teammates are and what they're doing. On the other hand, Maine will be skating an extra line tonight, an extra pair of defensemen. Everybody's going to play. They should have some legs, and we'll see how they do. Scott King will make the start in net number one. The freshman 6'1", 177-pounder who has been at the top of the goaltenders in Hockey East this season. The young freshman, along with Al Loring, have combined for an outstanding tandem. Maine with a victory over Colorado College from the WCHA, and that's a game that counts in league play in Hockey East, the team, the league that Maine is in. So Maine will go to the Christmas break with a league record of eight wins four losses and one tie an exceptional start remember this main team is ranked number nine in the country the ninth ranked team in the country on the ice tonight against the Spartak team they will get the uh, colors off but they have yet to roll up the rug out there as we will wait for the governor elect John Jock McKernan coming out he will be Joe's guest during uh, the second intermission. second intermission tonight and Jock along with President Dale Lick is out at center ice now where they will drop the ceremonial first puck here tonight. Mike McHugh out there from Maine taking the drop along with Sergei Shepilev. Shepilev, keep an eye on him tonight because I'll tell you, he can play some hockey. Sergei Shepilev, who wears number 12, is 31 years old. He was on the 1984 Soviet national team. He has been on three Soviet national teams. Now that's the team that you see in the Olympic play and Shepilev is one of their real veterans. He'll be out there tonight centering that first line with Bragin and Tumanev. This club, like all Soviet teams, will do a whole lot of skating. Look for them to maneuver a lot. We understand last night in New Haven they dominated that game. Scott Smith, the former Maine defenseman who plays for New Haven, injured and out, called us this morning about that game. He said he thought New Haven played the best game they've played all year, and the Soviet Union did anything they wanted to do. So that's the kind of talent that's going to be out there in the ice in those red uniforms tonight. One of the first things you'll notice on the close shots where you can see these Soviet players' sticks is the big curve on them. That helps with shooting, it helps with stick handling, and uh, that's just one of the one of the subtle differences you see between the Soviet style of play and the Americans. Starting line for Maine, Todd Jenkins will be out of the speedster along with Guy Perron and Mike McHugh, the jet set out there for Maine. On defense, Bob Beers will make the start along with Dave Nonis, and we are ready to go as international hockey comes back to Maine in the Alfond Arena. Dave Nonis gets the draw back to Beers. Dave Nonis and Beers playing in their own end. The Soviet Union will usually send one four-checker in and then come back and play you at center ice. Bobby Beers gets it around the defenseman and up, and there's one of the rule shifts we're going to see. There is a two-line rule. We're playing under international rules tonight. On all icing situations, they must be touched up. 
in college hockey on an icing. If it goes by the op opposition's goal line, it's an automatic icing. Now it'll have to be touched as it is in the NHL. And the two-line pass rule is in effect. You cannot pass among two lines. That'll be tough for Maine to get used to. All right, it'll be taken by Maine. Bruce Major will clear it in. Major out there will play one of the wings on this line with Golden and Corkum. Soviet Union back the other way. Here's Shepelev already back in. Shot right through the crease. Scott King got a stick on that one and knocked it away to the side. Corkum in the corner. Behind the net, Eric Weinrich, who may be the best college defenseman in the country, according to some NHL scouts. A real chance for the Olympic team. Number five for Maine, Eric Weinrich. He's going to do some honors for Maine, uh, carrying the Maine banner with him before it's done. Here we see the circling at center. Sergei Akikin with it. Maine's going to play a little differently. Maine will stay back. They are not going to challenge the Soviet Union. They're going to send one four checker up and let the Soviet Union skate all they want at center ice, and they'll pick them up when they move into the offensive zone. So the Soviet Union may not have seen anything quite like this before. Bobby Corkum intercepts and clears it in. You watch Maine on defense. They'll send the four checkers in, but once the Soviet Union starts out, Christian Lalonde with a check that time, then Maine will just drop back at center ice and let the Soviet Union wheel and deal at center. All right. Soviet Union dropping the pass off at the main blue line. Back for it, Gadotti can't hit Baker. Cleared back in by Maine. Maine Bears are skating everybody tonight. Christian Lalonde out there with Baker. David Wensley against the boards. Knocked down by Martinov. Puck picked up and cleared ahead to Lalonde. Christian Lalonde dumped by the defender. Good check that time by the defenseman, Sergei Folken. Folken gave him a hit check and just picked him up and turned him over. Far end, David Wensley trying to turn the puck away. Can't. Back with it, Martinov. Igor Martinov, only 22 years old. One of the youngsters out there. Back through center ice. Dumped in on the right wing. They've got a man out in front. Backhand shot. That's deflected. As uh, Vavnevsky gets the puck back. Vavnevsky had the shot. Poked away by Gadotti, another Maine native. Vince Gadotti down the right wing side. Gadotti clears it up ahead. Soviet Union with Zebin centering this line. Zebin. Prohorov, who is only 18 years old, wearing number 17. He's the youngest of the players out there for the Soviet Union. All right, now they're having a little trouble understanding what Maine's doing right here. They'll clear it in, in on King, and he will hang on to this one. We get our first whistle. We've got a break in the action. Maine and the Soviet Union, no score. No score in this one. Spartak. Picks up the puck off the faceoff in the main end. Back out through center with it. Zebine, Zebine dropped it off. Jenkins is there. Yes, Guy Perron. Perron knocked it in. Here's Mike McHugh. McHugh, shot, scores! Mike McHugh! Takes a one to nothing lead as Mike McHugh dumps it in. And a real nice breakaway helped out by Guy Perron and Todd Jenkins, his line mates, cleared in to the main end. King back to get it. Mike McHugh off to a good start for the main Bears this season. Puck cleared back down into the main end into the corner. Guy Perron getting an assist on that. They can give one to Jenkins. Uh, Dave Nonis will get the other one. Maine's Mike Golden up four checking, loose at center. Right back in the other way by Petrov. Petrov center is knocked down by Jack Capuano. Jack Capuano, one of the brother combinations, along with David, who's been selected for the junior national team. Maine will have two players going there. We'll be interviewing them in our second period. Bobby Corkum and David Capuano will go to Prague, Czechoslovakia. Puck cleared back out to center. Baker back to get it. Third ahead to David Wensley. Wensley has been playing outstanding hockey of late, a junior for Maine. Seven goals, nine assists on the season. Shepelev, backhand centering pass. Good play out in front, Baker. Comes right in his skates now. Baker clears it to the side. Guy Lalonde is going to get touched up back there on the check put on by Agikin. Agikin couldn't get him, though, and Maine will be able to clear it out the center. Dalimir Zublov. Zublov on defense, dumped it back in. Delayed offside call. Maine gets it out. That'll nullify the whistle. Bears have a 1-0 lead. Christian Lalonde. Lalonde dropping into the middle. David Capuano, number 11, out there on the ice right now. David in the corner with it. Lalonde kicks it away down deep. He gets checked by Gumayev. Gumayev around the boards, and back will come Spartak. 
Spartak, Moscow, Soviet Union team. Agikin, pass knocked away, Gadani. They do battle behind the net, cleared out in front. Massera knocked it away. John Massera, who hasn't seen a lot of action for Maine this season. Number 17, a freshman from Woodbridge, Ontario. Spartak with it again, brought in by Fulken on the right wing side. Down into the corner, that's Santini who jammed him up. Nonis with a puck. On the right wing, Maine coming out, Jay Mazur. Masera trying to get it over to Santini, couldn't. Nonis back trying to get it. Poke checks it away, Agikin was after that one. Agikin's going to get back on side now. Soviet Union mixing their lines up early in this game. Brought back in and centered, and that shot goes wide. Backhand shot taken by Agikin. Good play. Kept in by Spartak. Dave Nonis picking up the loose puck. Spartak player down. Mazur will kick it out. Mazur with a three-on-two break here. Mazur coming. Can't control it, though. Santini in the corner. Backs it behind the net. Mazur in front. Masera just couldn't get a stick on it. John Masera had it in the slot. Couldn't control it. Back the other way, Agikin. Spartak using long line shifts here. Now they'll get a change right now. Cleared out to Fokin, the defenseman. Fokin on defense with Martinov. Martinov getting some help from the wing, Tumanev. Victor Tumanev, 23-year-old forward, dumping it off at center. See Maine backing up. They are not coming out to challenge the puck once the Soviet Union gets it to center. They just lay back. They'll let Spartak do all the skating they want at center ice. And then they'll meet him at the blue line. And that's where they're coming in from right now. In behind the net. Looking to center it out in front, Bragin. Bragin to the high slot area. Score! Oh, what a tip in by Tumanev. Victor Tumanev, he was in the circle on the right side when he tipped that puck by goaltender Scott King. What a tip in. He was looking the other way and going the other way, away from the net. Kind of a matter-of-fact tip. Looked almost like a, a golf shot, kind of. Bang, right into the top of the net. Ties it up 1-1. That goal will come at 6-10. Victor Tumanev, only 23 years old, getting the goal for Spartak, tying it up after Mike McHugh had given Maine the lead in the game. So proficient with his sticks, not hesitating to use the backhand. Very, very deft. They love to tip the puck around, passing and shooting. Soviet Union getting it back into the main end, high slot man, loose side of the net, tying him up. Shot wide, good chance for Petrov that time. Eric Weinrich behind the net. Getting tagged, nails it on the far side to Bruce Major. Soviet Union sending three four checkers in right now as it's up along the point. Maine having to back skate on him. Bobby Corkum. Corkum, who will go play some hockey during the Christmas break. In the corner, hard check by Corkum. Couldn't free the puck up and control it though, and Spartak will get it back. Alexandre Zebine got it out through center. Main player falling down was Dave Nonis. A lot of skating at center. Bruce Major, right wing. Major trying to drop it. Now shoots it high and wide. Golden let it go up. Golden had it go by him. Back into the other corner. Dave Nonis driving it down deep. Back the other way. You go to Petrov. Petrov just clearing it out. Maine completing their change here. And Dave Nonis, outstanding Maine defenseman, coming up ice. Noni dumped. Good hip check by Fulken again. He's had two nice hip checks. Soviet Union, they've got a man out in front. Spartak in. They've got a shot. Deflected up and a good chance for Igor Bolden. But Bolden had the defenseman get back on him. Picking it up, Bob Beers. Nope, he overskated it. Over to get it. Alexei Sullivan in. And he lost it behind the net. Dave Nonis. Nonis up along the boards. Will not get it out. Vazigan kept it in. Vazigan now lost it. And they'll have to get back on side with it. Bragin. Valery Bragin leaving it. You see that weaving at center ice. Solomitan. Solomitan lost it. Picking it up for Maine, Masara. Masara coming. Can't get it. Defenseman right there to poke check it away. He took it off. Took it off in the corner. Masara, Wensley, and took it off. Puck squirts out, and it'll be Spartak's puck. Now Maine, as soon as they get out, and it's clear that they have broken the forecheck, then Maine just drops back. Intercepted by Jack Capuano at center. And it seems to be working for Maine. There's it in on the left wing. Too far ahead, though, for Jay Mazur. Picked up by Kudain. Gennady Kudain. And the Soviet Union again back on the attack. Soviet Union, really, their lines mean very little. Marinin will clear it in. They'll change all night long as far as their people playing out there. Jack Capuano coming up. Lines don't mean much to them. Cleared on the right wing side. Shot on, deflected wide. Steve Santini. Santini, the Yonkers, New York senior. Had a good shot on that one. Brought back the other way, Shepelev. He's their veteran high scorer. Shepelev lost it. Weinrich poked it away. Eric getting tied up, trying to break out on it. Can't. Good effort, though. Zubalov there. Zubalov driven back by Weinrich, and immediately Weinrich will drop back off the forecheck. All right, Spartak coming back again. 1-1 one, one tie, 11.03 to go first period. Good defensive play. Dave Nona stood the man up. Cleared out by Mike McHugh, and that's center ice control by Gumeyev. 
Gamayev on defense, and here they go wheeling and dealing. Kurdine, Kurdine getting tied up, just clearing it off on the other wing. They like to break in and skate around people. Tough to do when Maine just hangs back. Intercepted by Mike McHugh again. McHugh coming to Jenkins and Perron. He gets it in the middle of Jenkins, fanned on the pass. Knocked away that time by Zublov, number four. Third up along the side, Bob Beers up four checking, able to keep it in momentarily. Flipped in by Todd Jenkins down deep. A lot of skating, very few whistles. Veldemir Zublov from behind his own net. Zublov able to clear it out, back the other way, Agikin. Agikin down the right wing side. Jack Capuano on him, shuts down, looking in front, shoots it on goal, and King will cover up. And he's not going to get a whistle. Bob Beers having to play that one, and they shoot it back out to center ice, Sergei Fokin. Fokin drops it back. They've got to get back on side here. Tumanov. Tumanov playing a wing out there now at center. Gets the man coming through the middle. Good poke check. Puck rolls loose. Scott King can't cover it up. It's still loose, and Maine gets it. Jack Capuano. He had an open net, but he couldn't control it. Todd Jenkins coming back over to Jack Capuano. Lost it behind him. Spartak holding a man back now. They try and break somebody that way. A geek and again at center lost it. Jenkins will shoot it up and that'll be icing. And they will wave it off. They'll have to play it off the side boards. Sergei Fokin out on defense. Back the other way. Tumanev. Tumanev's drop pass. They try and get it back to him. Can't. Controlled in the middle. Poke checked away. Nice play on defense that time by the Bears. Claudio Screven, one of Maine's freshmen, poked that one away. Major trying to split the defense. Gets tied up. Puck in the high slot. Loose shot. Corkum. That one just deflected. Defenseman down in front hit that one. And back the other way. Spartak. Spartak, long line shifts in the middle, tip pass beautifully. In front again, it rolls all the way through. They're trying to set up Tumanoff in the middle, but can't get it to him. Nikolai Davidkin on defense now. Davidkin clearing it over on the wing. Bragin, he centers it, and that rolls through everybody into the corner. And Christian Lalonde trying to freeze it up back there. David Capuano in to help out, gets it in behind the main net. We're back to get it, get out of here. We're all tied 1-1. Great to have you with us. International hockey, second year in a row. Maine has hosted a Soviet team. David Wensley trying to drive it out of the zone, having real trouble, can't do it. Intercepted and kept in. Soviet Union, pretty good forechecking. David Keene, a defenseman, centered it. Taken away by Claudio Scrumman. Maine needs a line change here. Soviet Union not giving him a chance to do it. Kadine at center has to dump it back to his defenseman, David Keene. David Keene over to Bazganin. And back the other way comes Spartak. Taken away again by Maine. Maine trying to break out. They've got David Capuano, the center, and he'll shoot it in. Maine wants the line change right here. Third around the boards. 1-1 one, one tie. Igor Petrov wearing number 19. Petrov circling back. Masara goes up the forecheck and then quickly drops back. Weinrich had the man get around him now. Good help by his defenseman. King will cover up. That'll get a whistle. We've got a break in the action, and we're all tied up. 1-1. One, one. One ones are score main and Spartak. We're in the first period. Spartak's doing a good job offensively. Bob Beers, though, coming in here and saving a goal. Second night in a row, he's done that. Good defensive play. That's called an empty net, isn't it? All right, the puck in the main end off the faceoff. Spartak's got it. Going out to the high slot, had a shot that time, passed it up, Igor Petrov, and it's going to be driven out the center. Petrov will have to go back to get it. Vadimin Tikhanov on defense. Tikhanov and Petrov wheeling with it. Petrov comes in on the left wing side. Look at those drop passes. Trying to center it in that high slot. That's where they like to shoot from, those high percentage shots, and they get it there. Out in front again, backhand shot. That one's going to go wide, taken by Ziedbein, and Santini's got it. Steve Santini, main senior to Jay Mazur. Bounced out in the middle, Masera. Masera can't get it around the defense and took it off. Now they lose it to Jay Mazur. Mazur has it poke checked away at center by David Keene. David Keene will drop it back in his own end. Goloshumov, Sergei Goloshumov in goal for the Soviet Union at the other end, watching a lot of this period right now. Centered right through the crease, and it'll be played by Jack Capuano. Capuano trying to break a man out. This one's going to go a little long. Goaltender will come out, and Goloshumov will clear it off the boards. Good play. 21 years old. Goloshumov in net. Maine trying to keep it in. Bob Beers, and he didn't do it. I want to remind you, University of Maine will be playing number one ranked North Dakota here at the Alfond Arena coming up on December 27th after the Christmas break. Great chance to see the Herkus Circus, Tony Herkus, who has led college hockey in scoring most of this season, and Sean Walsh will have to prepare for the number one team in the country when Maine comes back from the Christmas break on December 27th here at the Alfond Arena. Mark that one down. It ought to be a 
great chance to see some magnificent college hockey. Number one against Maine. That's number nine right now. Maine keeping the puck in. Mike McHugh driving down into the corner. Spartak, though, will get it back out to center. Intercepted again by the Bears. That speedy line out there. Dave Nonis driving it in off the point. Bob Beers steps up, but he can't keep it in. Bob Beers, a transfer from northern Arizona, joining the Maine team this season. Beers, a sophomore. He comes from Cheektowaga, New York playing with Arizona until they drop their program this year, and Beers clears it out through center. All right, Spartak will have to get back on side. Gamayev out there on defense. Gamayev drops it off the wheel at center. Breguin brought in now by Sullivantine. He drops it off to Breguin. He can't get it. Dave Nonis is there. Maine's playing good defense. They are preventing the Soviets from getting set up. Bobby Beers back. Beers trying to keep it in. He had it knocked away. Taken by Breguin again. Again, Maine on the forecheck. Mike Golden up there knocked it away, but not long enough. And back comes Spartak, right down the middle, trying to break the man. They got him in. Backhand shot. Oh, what a save by Scott King. King with an outstanding save on Alexei Solomaton. As Solomaton had the step on the defender and the freshman goaltender going down on that one. And he's a stand-up goaltender and a nice save, Joseph. This is a good example of the way the Soviet Union runs their offense. They send a guy to the far post when the player with the puck is headed to the net. They have the option to either shoot or pass. In that case, pass. And King made the right guess. More than a guess, a good instinctive play by the goaltender King. Boy, they can pass. 5.42 to go first period. We've got a 1-1 game. And Maine's defensive line set up by Sean Walsh seems to be working. Weinrich ramming up in the corner with Kadine. Kadine hanging on to Eric Weinrich. Weinrich getting the good check back again <laughs> as he paid for that first check for the second check by Agikin. Maine having trouble getting it out. Christian Lalonde losing it. Jack Capuano had it. Taken away by Sergei Shepalev. Shepalev, their veteran, probably the best player on this team. Shepalev, look at that wind into the middle. Trying to set up side of the net. Could not. They pass up. A lot of good shots. Shepalev again centering. Rolls to the high slot. Shot on. Saved by King. That one up high. Taken by Kurdine. Maine will clear it out. And back again. It'll be taken by Martinoff. Martinoff lost it. David Capuano, Maine's one of Maine's two representatives to the junior national team, Prague, Czechoslovakia, at the end of this month, first of next month. He and Bobby Corkum will be going there. A great honor for Maine. Back the other way, Spartak down deep with it. Agikin centered right in the crease. Nonis got it. David turns up ice. Dave Nonis. And he'll get rammed off the puck. Hard check by Martinov. Dave Nonis felt that one. Martinov just put the leg on him. Puck kept in by Masera. Masera trying to shoot it in on goal. Shot it wide. In behind the net, Martinov. Igor Martinov. He's only 22. These young ages are unusual. It looks as though the Soviet Union has put some young players on this team as they're looking for people for their national team for the Olympic year in uh, 1988 because they have a lot of people on here who are much younger than you'd expect to be on the third best team in the Soviet Union. Tumanev, only 23, will bring it in. And Victor Tumanev into the corner. There's another great centering pass off Bob Beers' mass that time. Beers, he's trying to clear it out. It'll be knocked away and kept in. Spartak doing a good job of controlling the puck as would be expected. Very few whistles in this game. All right, it is back out through center. Begizain on defense. Shot there, saved by King. And Jack Capuano looking. Holding in the corner. There's uh, Spartak backs off there for check now. Maine trying to break somebody up ice. That's Todd Jenkins, the jet setter, and he lost it. Back the other way with it. Brought in and a shot deflected off the uh, stick of Beers. Back out for another shot. Backhand glove save, and it rolls into the crease, and he's got it. Scott King laying on it. We've got a break in the action. Maine and Spartak tied at one. Penalty on this one. What a save by King. That puck rolled right back in, and there was the slashing Slash. call off to his left. Varnaski goes off for slashing at 16.34. Maine has a power play. They've been 24% effective on their power plays. They've got a good one. Bruce Major. Major will clear it in deep. Major, one of their leaders with 12 points this season, and a good one on the power play. So let's see what Maine can do with it. As Spartak will intercept, and it's cleared up and out. They've got a shorthanded effort coming the other way with it. Zebine. Zebine had it knocked away, Dave Nonis. Good defensive play. David Nonis, almost a two-on-one that time, shorthanded. Maine coming out of their own end. They have the advantage over to Wensley. 1-1 one, one tie. Maine on a power play. Wensley, defender, just plays the man, lets the puck go into the corner, jams Wensley up. Good play by Tukanov. Maine keeps it in. Lalonde. Lalonde lost it, and here's a break. Here's two on. Oh, Maine getting a defenseman in the middle, Dave. Nonis now. Zebine centered, and a save by Dave Nonis. 
They've known to stop that one. Puck cleared up the other way, and it will be an icing call as we come back on the touch-up. We've got a break in the action. We're all tied, 1-1. What a chance Soviet Union had right here. Look how patient they are. This is just to hold on to the puck and wait and wait. Bang. The last possible chance to make that pass. They do it and broken up nicely by Nonis. Maine with 49 seconds on the power play. Clearing it down into the Spartak end. Jack Capuano trying to keep it in. Help from Jay Mazur. Maine and Spartak tied one apiece. Mike Golden. Golden back to the point to Eric Weinrich. They challenge him. Weinrich in. Weinrich a shot deflected wide. Maine playing two people in front of the goaltender trying to get the tip-ins here. Jack Capuano down deep. Mazur can't get it. Mike Golden in the corner. Got tied up. Puck squirts out and kept in by Weinrich but it'll roll out the center ice. He shot that along the blue line trying to get it to the other point. 19 seconds of the main power play. A minute 44 to go in the period. Eric Weinrich going in behind his own net as he gets driven back by Solomitan. Solomitan on the forecheck. Cleared up by Weinrich to Michael Golden. Golden had it dropped back. Poked off his stick. Mains David Capuano. Four seconds in the power play. Tied up. Lost it. Great sticks. Zubilov gets it, and that's the end of the power play. Main 0 for 1. Cleared in by Spartak into the main zone. Scott King let it go. It'll be intercepted behind the net now as Varnevsky will keep it in. Varnevsky just came out of the box. It tied up in the corner. Mazur gets the loose puck. Mazur will clear it out. Will be an icing unless the goaltender plays it, and he has to. As Goloshumov, Sergei Goloshumov, played it off. Minute three to go here in period number one. Lots of interesting things coming up during our first intermission for you. Sergei Shepalev robbed of that one. Gadotti knocked him down. Back the other way. Mike McHugh. McHugh with a man in front. No. Jenkins got tied up and goes into the post. He's all right. We've got a break in the action. We're all tied. One apiece. Back in play. Shipalev clearing it into the high slot. Shot hit the post. This line can roll. Geekin drops it back to the point. 22 seconds in the period. Is Shepalev again. Look at him. Hold the puck. Shot saved by King. Oh, my Lord. You wonder why he's been on three Soviet national teams, 31-year-old Sergei Shepalev. Before this night's over, we will probably say that he's the best player who's ever played in this rink. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Tremendous skater, stick handler, he can just do everything. That's called stick handling in a phone booth right there. He can do it. Number 12, Sergei Shepalev. Some kind of player. All right, faceoff will be to the right of Scott King. The Spartak team has won the national championship in Russia four times and not an easy task when you have to face the Red Army in that elite division which is 12 teams the 12 best here's a break the other way Mike Golden he's got a man in the middle centered to Major just under his stick Jay Mazur keeps it in Mazur got tied up and that's the period and I want to tell you Maine will go in with smiles on their faces with this one as the University of Maine will take a 1-1 tie into the locker room at the end of the first period they've got head coach Sean Walsh, a look at the Russian schedule and much more coming up during our first intermission. We'll be back for that in a moment. At the end of one, the score, Spartak and Maine, one apiece. Tomorrow on Channel 5, we'll have the NFL today at 12.30, followed by San Francisco and New England at 1 o'clock. That game certainly will have a bearing on the playoff race with the Jets losing today and failing to clinch the AFC East Championship, so that'll be a big game. Maiden Spartak back on the ice, ready to start second period play. Some other scores from around the world of college hockey tonight. Lowell is beating Colorado College 3-1 at the end of one. Lowell just continues to roll on and on. That'll be the next college team that Spartak will face there in second, Maiden third in Hockey East. The Lowell Chiefs of Bill Riley. And at the end of one period, Boston College just hammering the University of New Hampshire. Five to nothing to that score. Boston College without a home rink this season, not bothering them at all. They're playing that game tonight at the Bright Arena on the campus of Harvard University in Cambridge. We had another score from this afternoon, Joe. Boston University beat Northeastern 3-1 to one in an afternoon game. So BU now in fourth place has 11 points. Maine in third place with... Uh, 15 points. Lowell, if they can pick up another, will have a 19 points if they win that game tonight. And Boston College now on top with 22 points in Hockey East. They just continue to roll, and BU is starting to come on just like everybody knew they would when they got that defense healthy again. Uh, they'll be uh, they'll be tough. I want to remind everybody that the University of Maine will be playing in Portland at the Civic Center on the 29th of this month. 
They'll be playing the University of Alaska, and Alaska's ranked number 14 in the country. Tickets are on sale at the Civic Center box office in Portland and the athletic office here in Maine. That game against University of Alaska, Portland Civic Center on the 29th. All right, we're ready to go. Mike McHugh getting the goal for Maine. Victor Tomenev picking it up for the Spartak team. We are tied at 1-1. Let's see if Spartak changes their offensive strategy here against that Maine defense. Maine poking it back out to center now as Gimenev has it. Gimenev playing at center, and then Spartak may start to dump now as Zubalov drives it in. They don't do that very often. Very rarely will they ever dump and chase. They may figure they have to do that against Maine to try and get some chances. Back in his own end, Gimenev. Gimenev, Shefalev. Shefalev, who can really wheel and deal. The center coming to the left wing side. Gets the pass on the far wing. Breaking in all alone. Perhovic right through the crease. Maine gets it back. Boy, they set up once they're in the zone. Maine with Jenkins. Jenkins around the defender. Backhand centering pass tipped away. Mike McHugh was there. But so is Adric Gumeyev. And Gumeyev tipped the puck away. Zublov's got it. Zublov trying to break a man out. You already see Spartak doing two things differently. They have dumped the puck once, and they're trying to get a man behind the defenseman in order to try and get that big breakaway. A bit different from what you normally see in this wheeling and dealing Soviet team. All right, they're changing up. Gameyev just waiting now as Maine again, that passive resistance the other way. To Menev gets hit by Mike McHugh, lost his helmet. McHugh will try and clear it out of there, and he does. Nice backhand pass to Jenkins. Jenkins to Perron. Guy Perron can't get to it. Martinov's got it. And Igor Martinov on defense gets it up to Timonev. Timonev, who had the goal in the first period, gets the man on the left wing. They look to center. They hold on, try and jam it short side. Can't cover it up by Scott King. Good play. King Scott. playing the angle. He got in the perfect spot, and that shot just ricocheted off him. Boy, they don't waste time around the net, do they? King's doing a nice job tonight so far. He's He had to know coming into this game that he'd see a lot of pressure. In that case, he just got over, hugged the post. Just like he's supposed to do. The puck ended up in front of him. Weinrich there to help clear the forwards away. And the puck was there easily for King to grab. Scott King only a freshman and a stand-up goaltender. See and Al Loring doing an excellent job for Maine. King 3-2-1 and one in net. And Loring 5-3-1. and one. Spartak getting it back into that high slot area. They can't put it in. Here's Bruce Major coming two on two. Mike Golden. Golden tied up and knocked down by Martinov. Igor Martinov getting him. Major behind the night can't control it. Tumanev out there. These Spartak line shifts are so long. They keep people out there a long time. Back the other way. Bob Beers intercepted. It's able to dump it out the center off Varnavsky's stick. And back Tumanev. Tumanev playing like a defenseman now. Playing back to get it up to Martinov. And he gets the puck back. Tumanev, the forward. Coming straight down the middle with it. Now on the left wing side. Going down deep. Centers. Claudio Scrumman, the defenseman, was there. Major takes it away. Puck kept in right at the blue line by Spartak. Tumanev. Tumanev's got a man open in the high slot area. Takes the shot right along the side of the net. King came out and blocked the centering pass. Good play by Scott King to break it up in the high slot. Again, they work and weave. Saved by King again. Goes in behind the net as he's robbing him right now. Uh, Varnevsky, another shot deflected wide into the corner. They get down around the net. They just circle it. Passing from each side and from behind it. And again, they control against the boards, working out towards that high slot. Zublov, the defenseman, moving up deep to the other point. Martinev shot. That's deflected wide. Kept in, though, along the far side boards by Kurdine. Kurdine back over to Martinev. Martinov dumps it in behind the net. King will play it back there. Baker just wants to ice it if he can, but he can't. It's kept in along the blue line. Nope, that'll get a whistle. We've got a break in the action. We're all tied. 1-1. Discipline style. Pass, 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 and there's the shot. King made the big save. Had a little trouble finding it, but he came up with a stop. Puck went way over the net. Main clears the puck down off the draw. Rolled back out through center now. Knocked away by Mishukov. Mishukov, the defenseman, gets it back. Igor Mishukov. Mishukov clears it in wide of the net. King will play it back there for Bob Beers. Beers on defense. All tied 1-1. 16.30 to go, second period. This is a very good hockey game. Cleared up and out by Maine, but it'll roll out. Maine with a two-on-three situation. Wensley will hold it. Wensley drew the puck back to himself, jammed up, got it in the middle. Nobody there for Maine, though, intercepted. Broken up by the defenseman that time, Bazagin. Bazagin got it out through center to David Keene. David Keene drops it off, and offside, Zebine trying to bring it in. Alexei Zebine, the center, on the so-called second line. I'm glad they don't play in hockey east. <laughs> not, 
not only because the names aren't too clean on the back of their uniforms, uh, but they don't go by lines. They simply skate all kinds of different people in different combinations. They don't even stay in the same position that they, from one shift to the next sometimes. They just left wing to right wing, back and forth. Doesn't seem to really make much difference to them. Team plays. These teams in the Soviet Union in the elite division play 11 months a year. The only month they get off is June. They practice six days a week, and the married people are not allowed to go home except on the day off. Backhand shot on King, squeezes the pads and makes the save. So you've got players out there who play 11 out of the 12 months, six out of the seven days, and they are together virtually all the time. Part of the reason why they can take such long shifts, they're in great condition. King with another good stop there. Squeeze that one between the pads right around knee level. You go to Boldine taking that shot. Boldine waiting here as we have main players still going to the bench so we'll they'll whistle the draw momentarily Todd Jenkins will back off on it here Jenkins taking the draw against Igor Boldin only 22 years old Boldin Jenkins got it the Michigan native for Maine puck cleared all the way down the other way played by Goloshumov Sergei Goloshumov who had only two shots on goal one of them went in in the first period against him all right, Maine trying to keep it down in the other end. They will not quickly backing off. A Geekin, a Geekin passing behind the net. A Geekin centering this line, trying to get the return pass. Spartek with a man in the middle. King makes another save. Scott King robbing the man coming through the high slot. Sergei Geekin. Maine dumping it back the other way to Fokin. Fokin gets it back out, and here they come again. Solomitan. Solomitan dropped it off. Maine got it back. Maine having to play some tough defense, and Scott King in net seeing a lot of shots. Sean Waltz planning to play. King, uh, King and Loring half and half. Offside the other way. So we should see both main goaltenders in this game. It would be tough to take King out right about now. He's playing so very well. Yi Perron from Quebec, who is one of the jet setters on that speedy line. Todd Jenkins along with him. And Mike McHugh, the Bowdoin, Maine native. As that line will go to the bench. And the faceoff will come at center ice. Controlled by Zublov, Velimir Zublov. They'll dump it back, doing less skating at center, realizing Maine's backing up. Shepelev trying to clear it in, could not, brought in by a Geekin. Now there are two centers who are playing on the same line. Shepelev, Shepelev drops it off in the middle to Zbine. Three centers. Puck poked away. Over to get it, Bobby Korkum. Korkum got it out into the middle of Major. Major right wing side with a man back on in Gumayev. Shot deflected by Gumayev. Major gets it back, though. Major looking for someone in the slot area. Nobody there. Cleared in behind the net. And back the other way, Spartak. Spartak, Shepelev, Sergei Shepelev. Shepelev waiting for his teammates to catch up with him. He'll do a lot of that the way he skates. Poked away, Bob Beers. Good play by Bobby. And Beers will back up to get it, leaves it for Golden. Mike Golden, who is playing at New Hampshire, transferred up to Maine, shoots this one up, and it goes out of play. We've got a break in the action at the Alphand. Spartak and Maine all tied, 1-1. Faceoff will be to the left of Maine goaltender Scott King. On the draw to Menev, and he loses it to David Capuano. David Capuano, along with four of the main players, will be joining us during our second of the mission. As we'll talk with people, main players, who are going to play during the Christmas break with some special honors. Spartak keeping it deep down in the main end here. Tough to get it out once they get the puck down deep to Menev. To Menev looking for the high slot shot. That was partially fanned on that time. And Spartak again in the middle. Two men have lost it, trying to get a backhand shot off. Back up along the boards. Maine's finally able to intercept it. A penalty coming up. Tripping call. Delayed penalty here. Now it's going to be touched up, and that will get a whistle. Maine will have a power play. And we've got a break in the action with a score all tied at 1-1. Maine's going to get their second power play on a trip against the boards. Salary Bergeen will go to the penalty box. David Capuano headed for the puck. Bergeen reached for the stick, and down went David. Man advantage. Maine on the faceoff wins it. They clear it down into the Spartak end. Christian Lalonde backhanding it in on goal. Goal is showing off, dumped it away. Lalonde in the corner. Lalonde getting it behind the net to Major. Back to Christian Lalonde. Getting it out onto the point. David Wensley winds up. Slap shot deflected. That was high into the face of Bruce Major. 1-1 game. Maine's second power play here. It's only the second penalty. Corkum up to the point. David Nonis to Wensley. Tipped it down deep. Nobody there for the Bears. It'll be cleared up along the boards. Bye bye Skeen and it hit the post. Bruce Major hit the post and a rebound. Dave Notice keeps it in. Notice holding. Maine almost had it back. Wensley shot, deflected deep. Corkum backhander save by Golashimov. 
Good save by Sergei Goloshimov. Major hit the post on a rebound. They got a second chance on the backhand, but Goloshimov made the save. Major had it in front, tried a quick backhander, didn't get it. The rebound came to him, and he just couldn't pull it around enough on the forehand. He slid it inside that post, and then right after that, Goloshimov made his best save of the game so far. He does look like he's a good goaltender. Goaltender's best friend. Two pieces of irons will help him out. Sergei Shepelev, Maine with a minute eight on the power play here. Maine's had a good power play this season, 24% effective. Golden on the draw wins it. David Capuano, the Maine freshman. Golden tied up. Michael having trouble with that one, lost it. Gamayev fanned on the out clearing pass, and Golden got it back. David Capuano can't keep it in. David will have to get on side with Weinrich to Golden. Golden's pass knocked away. Jay Mazur back to Golden, back to Mazur. On the far side, brought in, poke checked away. McHugh can't keep it in. No, it was offside. Mike McHugh had it forced outside the line by Gennady Kurdeen. The faceoff will be outside the Spartak blue line. It's the first time I've seen this power play combination for Maine. Also the first time I've seen Mike Golden on the point. And when the puck came back to me, he in fact had a little trouble with it. Bartek, remember, has played only American Hockey League teams, winning two and tying one. Their first college contest tonight. All right, Jay Mazur to Weinrich, keeps it in. And behind the net, Mike McHugh to Golden. Back out onto the point, it'll be intercepted. Sergei, oh, trying to break out, can't. No, just tipped wide. Centering pass, Mazur was there, he couldn't get a stick on it. If he had redirected that, that would have been a goal. But it went right between his legs. Good setup, though. David Capuano with 18 seconds of the main power play. Tied 1-1. 11.55 to go. Second period. Maine brings it in. Got a man open on the left wing. Golden couldn't get it. Mike Golden keeps it in. Centers. It rolls in on goal. Goloshumov tipped it away. It wasn't on net. Mazer back out to David Capuano. Weinrich, a shot, save, rebound. And Mike McHugh can't get a stick on it. Take it away. Cleared back out. Power play is over. We're back to even up in a 1-1 game. Brought all the way down. They fake the slap shot. Drop pass. Knocked away from Shepelev. Good play. Maine with a man out in front. And it'll be a two-line pass as it was touched. We are playing international rules here tonight. There are no two-line passes. In effect, international rules very much like the National Hockey League rules. The elimination of the red line for a two-line pass in college hockey, I guess about five or six years ago, was credited with opening the game up quite a lot. Boy, the Maine team is not only playing international competition, but what a treat Maine fans are going to have next year in October. The United States Olympic team is going to play the Maine Black Bears next year. Here's Jenkins, brought it in offside. So Maine hosting Soviet teams last year and this year. Next year, the 1988 U.S. Olympic team will be playing against Maine. A date has not been set. And one of the people who may be on that team is number five, Eric Weinrich of the University of Maine. Even the possibility of some others not completely far-fetched, Corkum or David Capuano, maybe. Yep. Maine uh, at that level in their program right now. Off the draw at center, back to get it, Steve Santini. Sands, he dumped it on the far side, lost it. Bob Beers, a good job to keep that one alive. He almost gave a breakaway away. Bears will come back the other way with it. Mike McHugh will clear it in. The jet set line out there, uh, Steve Santini, rather, along with Guy Perron. They don't have all the speedsters on it. Kept in by Todd Jenkins. He can fly. Todd trying to center his backhand loss. Sands, he gets tied up against the boards by Martinov. Martinov held on to Santini long enough for the puck to be taken away. And it's intercepted again by Maine. Todd Jenkins turning in. He's all by himself. Backhands it out into the middle. Martinov there. Martinov gets the pass up on the right to Madden. Madden is in. His shot save. Scott King robbed him of a goal. Oleg Madden was in all alone, and King robbed him as he came across the crease and a whistle behind the net. Now, a couple players with the sticks up high, and they're both going to go. What about this one? Scott King again. Point blank shot. He got a leg on it. He's playing very well tonight. Using his quickness, too. King is a stand-up goaltender, but in order to be able to be a stand-up goaltender, you also have to have that quickness to get in the proper position. That's exactly where King was. It'll be Marinin and Bob Beers headed to the penalty box. This will be interesting. A lot more ice now for Spartak to skate on, and they don't need a lot of ice. Be roughing or high sticking going on behind the net on that play. 10.24 to go, second period. All tied 1-1. Mike McHugh scored for Maine in the first period. And Victor Tumanev tied it up at 6-10. That's the way we are right now. And the main fans here sitting maybe a little bit stunned that their Bears are performing as well as they are. Four on four now, even up. Face off in the main end. Eric Weinrich was able to dig it out but not clear the zone. 
Kept in by Tumanev. Weinrich gloved it down. He's in a pretty good shoving match in the far corner. Puck kept in at the left point again by Vazagin. Now Maine intercepts Bruce Major. Off the boards to Bobby Corkum. A little bit too far ahead for Corkum. Vazagin drove it back out to center. Nona's trying to freeze it up. Can't. Comes out. Maine's got it. Coming in. Major slid it into the slot. Too far ahead for himself. He was trying to get it around the defender for himself and missed it. Good chance for Maine on that one. Right back the other way. Spartak's got it. Vazagin. Vazagin clearing it off to Tumenev. Tumenev's been out there all night long. Number nine. Left wing shot deflected by Bobby Corkum up and out of play. A minute 12 on the Magic Miners. Maine the least penalized team in Hockey East this season. That penalty on beer is the first of this game for them as Scott King skates a little bit in the crease. We just saw a rarity, a slap shot taken by Spartak. Very, very few. You could probably count the slap shots in this game on one hand. Their sticks stay on the ice almost all the time. Anytime the puck is shot toward the goal, it's usually either a tip or a wrist shot. Interesting thing I forgot to mention early in the game. If you will note, watching or watching or here in the arena, almost all the Soviet players shoot left-handed. They have two right-handed shooters. We'll tell you the reason for that here in a minute. At center, Sergei Fokin with it. Fokin driven back now into his own end. Clears it on the far side to Martinov. Martinov coming up. Almost all left-handed shooters. McHugh on the side rammed up hard. Physical aspect of this game is picking up a little bit here in the second period. The reason they do this and they train them to shoot left-handed is that in hockey your top hand is your primary hand is your strength hand and if you are right-handed and you shoot right-handed you don't have your strong hand where you want it up top so they turn them around and make them shoot the other way shoot left-handed they teach them to do that that's why all their entire team and uh, most Soviet teams are all left-handed shooters you still see that in fact most US teams college teams and professional they try and even it up so you have as many right as you do left-handed shooters. All right, Spartak with a draw at center, losing it to Maine. Only 8.59 to go here, second period, and we have got a great hockey game underway, tied at one. Maine with a chance for a breakaway. Jenkins could not control it, though, intercepted. Martinoff, the 22-year-old defenseman, passing back up on the other wing. Maine in that passive defense. Zebine, Zebine got it in. Dumped it in the middle. Defenseman set it up. Shot. King knocked it away. Scott King reaching back after he came to the top of the crease. Puts the puck into the corner. Maine back the other way. King playing outstanding hockey. Cleared in wide of the Spartak goaltender. Taken again by Martinov. Martinov dumps it back out into the middle to Zibine. Alexandre Zibine. Zibine gets it over to Prohorov. Prohorov, only 18 years old, their youngest player, wearing number 17. Hope checked away from him. Fokin back to get it as Spartak will change up. Back to Gumayev. Eric Gumayev ahead to Sh Sergei Shetland. He dumped it in on the right wing side. They're mixing the lines up. Agikin, another center, playing a forward on this line along with Shepolev. Agikin, then the top of the circle holding, goes back down deep. Agikin behind that as Shepolev. Shepolev, bottom of the circle, pass intercepted by Lalonde. Maine staying back on defense. Lalonde can't clear the zone, though, kept in by Shepolev. He looks like he dances on his skates out there. Back out onto the point. Wind up shot, save made. Gumayev with a shot. Scott King with a save. Third up onto the point. Rolls out to center. Penalty coming up on Maine. It will be a delayed call. Goaltender going out now. Maine touching it up, and that'll get a whistle, and Maine's going to be short-handed. We've got a break in the action. 7.30 to go. Period number two. We're all tied at one. Penalty call on Christian Lalonde. Interference at 12.30 in a game tied at one. First power play now for Spartak. Maine wins the draw, though, and they dump it back down deep into the other end. Spartak with the advantage, skating five on four here. Bazagin, Bazagin, the defenseman, will clear it up on the left wing side. Soviet Union will set up their power play now. Vanarski back on the right point. They'll set it up with a man down at the side of the net in the high slot area. Shot on. That's wide. They had the post on that one. Couldn't get it there. Cleared up and out by Maine. One-on-one. -on -one, Mike McHugh. McHugh loses control of the puck. It'll be picked up again by Andre Bazagin. Bazagin leaves it off for Solomitan. Solomitan playing on a wing on this power play now. The drop pass taken by Tumanev. Tumanev holding. Tumanev against the half boards looking. Tumanev having trouble finding anybody. Goes to the side of the net with it. Tumanev breaking in. Gets a return. Shot saved. And it's covered up by Scott King. Velocity. Yeah. Wrist shot. 
Boy, I'll tell you, with that strong hand shooting like that, they get some unbelievable wrist shots off. Scott King's not coming out of this game. He's playing too well. <laughs> It'll be very, very difficult to take him out now. All it is is a flip of the wrist. And that puck was rifled at King. He got it with a blocker. And a waffle on his uh, stick hand. Hope you are enjoying this one. International hockey returning to Maine again. Black Bears against Spartak of Moscow. Controlled by Moscow in their own end. Spartak has it. They dump it halfway down. Maine just challenging one point. At the side of the net. Open shot. Knocked away by the defenseman. Back out onto the point. Solomitan. Solomitan. Got it to the sideboards. Comes right back to him now. Solomitan playing a point. Goes halfway down again. Got a Geekin playing on that point right now. Centered back onto the far side, Bazagin. Bazagin drops it down bottom of the circle. The shot there, that's wide. And the rebound will come all the way out to center. 30 seconds on the Spartak power play. Back the other way. Solomitan. Solomitan dropped it. Had a man in front. They center and they score. A tremendous setup that time as they had the two on one break. And Valerie Bragin along with Victor Tumanev. And Tumanev had a net. That was pretty to watch. Just going back across in front of the goal mouth. Either of two players, Davidine or Tumanev, could have scored that goal. Great setup that time as the Soviet Union will take a 2-1 to one lead on that one. 14-08 will be the time of the goal, and it will be a power play goal. I'll tell you, that was some kind of a setup. That's that two-on-one break, and once they get down on that, it works so fast. Valerie Bregin getting the goal. Victor Tumanev, who has a goal, gets the assist. It'll be controlled by Spartak in their own end. Solomitan, who is just out there on the power play, is still out there. Solomitan coming up on the right wing side. They get it down deep. They like to shoot those high percentage shots in the slot area when they get a chance. Jack Capuano tied up behind the net. Bob Beers got it out to Wensley. Wensley could not control it. Spartak beginning to control territorially in this one now here in this second period. They lead by a score of 2-1. to one. It'll be cleared back out to center now as they've got to get back on side. Spartak back in their own end. Tack it off. Tack it off. Clearing it up to Boldeen. Boldeen got it over on the right wing. Marginin. Marginin in the middle. Went through everybody. Maine trying to tip it out. They can't. Kept in. Spartak really wheeling right now. And King will cover up this one and hang on. We've got a break in the action at the Alpha on the score. Spartak 2 at Maine 1. 4.47 remaining, second period. Face off down in the main end. Maine wins it. Maine not getting many chances this period. As Spartak controlling. Maine will bring it in. They roll it into the corner. Bobby Corkum. Corkum holding, looking to center. Poked away from him and stolen by Sergei Shepalev. Shepalev, great stick. Zublov got it out to Gamayev. Gamayev clearing it up ahead. Soviet Union in on goal. Hall down. King will knock the puck away, but Maine will pick up yet another penalty. As Scott King and Gennady Kurdigan get to know each other a bit better as they both go into the net. And Maine is going to be shorthanded again. They've given up one power play goal in this period. That's the fear you have against these guys that they could get rolling. That's what happened last year, in fact, with uh, Sokol Kiev that came in here. All of a sudden, things started going for them. Also, that's a danger, I think, of staying back defensively so much. Normally, a defense is played throughout the whole ice, all the way back into your, your offensive zone. Not playing at two-thirds of the ice gave the Spartak team more and more of a chance to get going offensively time and time again. And that gives them, again, that opportunity to get rolling. A little work being done at center ice now by the referee here as we had a hole. So we wait for that face-off in the main end. Weinrich, Eric Weinrich, goes out for holding at 13-39. And Spartak will have their second power play. So the main penalty killing unit has to go back out on the ice. Face off to the left of goaltender Scott King. Two to one. Spartak leading in a great hockey game before big house here at the Alphonse Arena. They're going to chase out Sergei Shepalev now. And on the face off, Agikin. Agikin will win it himself and take it in behind the net. Power play advantage right here. Spartak, Agikin in the corner. Lost it. It goes behind the net far side. Spartak will still control. Poke checked away against the boards and cleared out by Maine. 
They clear that one. David Capuano got it, found the hole. Held up at the far end. Defenseman coming back to get it. Valdemir Zublov. Zublov tied up by Mike McHugh. Good play on the forecheck, McHugh. Zublov able to control it. Shepelev. Shepelev the veteran coming up through the center. Shepelev who can really skate over to Gerdine. Gerdine dropped it back out onto the point. Gamayev. Gamayev back in behind the net. In the corner. Maine's got it. Maine will take a draw here, but they don't have to. They're able to clear it out. Mike McHugh gets it at center and sweeps it down the other way. Good play by McHugh. 3.34 to go in our second period. He'll meet some of the main hockey players during our second intermission. Also the governor-elect. And the president of the university. Lots of things in our second intermission. All right, held on to by Spartak. Poke checked away. Maine will get it out. Maine's got a man breaking out. Defenseman is back, though, and Bruce Major will rag it a bit. And he waits and then dumps it in. Major had a man breaking up in front, but the defenseman, Gumayev, got back. Gumayev clears it up into the middle. Back comes Bednarski, loses it. Maine clears it right back out. 39 seconds on the power play. From center ice, Martinoff got it in, and he's offside. It's also something that this team hardly ever does. Go offside or ice the puck or do anything wrong, it seems. Yeah. Their passes are so short and crisp that they rarely take up much ice with a pass. Uh, they have somebody on the break who's no more usually than 10 feet from them, so you get very few long passes. You get a lot of quick, short passes. Cleared in on goal, high shot. Nice play guy, Goloshomov that time as he had that one come in on him from center ice. Power play, 23 seconds left on it. Spartak with the puck down in the main end. They dump it back out onto the point. Martinoff, Martinoff to the side of the net with it. Centering pass knocked away. Good play, Jack Capuano went down to the body to block it. Mains Claudio Scrimmon in there. Scrimmon, who hasn't played a lot this year because of injuries, loses the puck, centered back out onto the point. Martinoff, Martinoff, a shot went wide. Rebound on the far side taken. That pass is tipped away. Goes back in behind the main net. Penalty is over, and we're even up. Main killed it off, but Spartak in front. Shot fanned on Weinrich out of the box. Gets the puck. Eric dumps it up into the middle. Good job of the penalty killers of Maine. Backhand pass. In on goal. Jenkins holding shot. Knocked away by the goaltender who came out and cut down the angle. He had no angle on that one. Goloshomov came out and cut the angle down. And back the other way, Martinov, who's offside. Goloshomov got tested with the speedster Jenkins getting around the defenseman that time. But Goloshomov was able to move out, cut the angle. Jenkins ended up coming in a little too wide that time. And by the time he got a shot off, he had no angle at all on that. Also because he's so quick and was so far ahead, Jenkins coming down the left side in the faceoff circle had no one to pass to. So it was either shoot or keep on going around the net. He shot and it was blocked. Always take your chances. You never know when you shoot it. It might go in off somebody. All right, back the other way. Spartax got it. Cleared in wide of the main net. King out of the goal. And it was empty for a minute, but the defensemen were there and cleared back the other way. Scott King, the young freshman goaltender, likes to roam. Sean Waltz is trying to rein him in a little bit. He's a goaltender who likes to play the puck. David Keene at center. David Keene gets it in on the right side. Into the main end. Puck lost. Christian Lalonde. Lalonde drops it back. Bob Beers. Beers up along the boards. Will not be able to get it out of there. David Keene kept it in. Now Maine clears it out to center. They had Lalonde back. Could not get the puck to him. Cleared back the other way. Spartak losing it. Sitting at center. Picked up. Nonas. Nonas got it over. Shot Lalonde. Save made. Goloshomov saving that one. Maine getting some chances here in this period at the end of it. Bazagin's got it. One minute to go in the period. Puck cleared in left side. Maine trailing by a goal with a minute to go. Bears trying to dig it out at center. Mike Golden had some trouble with that one and a whistle. And what are we going to get? Soviet Union. Spartak may have had too many men on the ice that time. They were trying to get people in onto the bench when the puck was right over in front of the bench. And they are going to pick up a penalty here in the second period at 19.05. It is too many men on the ice. Too many men on the ice as somebody going to the bench touched the puck. Igor Petrov will serve the penalty. Petrov going in, and Maine will have a power play. 55 seconds to go here in the period. So Maine with a chance to tie this thing up here with a one-man advantage. John Walsh calling his troops over and giving instructions here on how they want to play this. The expertise of the specialty teams on this Spartak club is another indication of how much they play together. They have every opportunity with the six days a week of practice to practice the power play and the penalty killing unit. All right, let's see what Maine does here. 53 in the period. 
Main with the advantage. Spartak at center battling with Weinrich. Weinrich came away from Shefalev with a puck. Main's David Capuano, the outstanding freshman, clears it in. Capuano leading all rookie scorers for freshmen in Hockey East right now. Into the corner, held on to. Weinrich can get a nice pass around him that time, made by Valdemir Zublov. And back the other way, Gamayev. Gamayev in the middle. Gamayev sets up on the left wing shot, deflected off Wensley's stick. Up and out of play, shorthanded chance right there for Spartak. Maine this season has had their freshmen really produce for them. And David Capuano one and Scott King, the goaltender, another. David Capuano leads Maine scorers with 24 points now, seven goals, followed by the junior David Wensley with 16 points, Eric Weinrich. That outstanding defenseman who has picked up 15 points on the season, including seven goals, and Bruce Major and Jack Capuano, both with 12 points. Maine ranked ninth in the country. And they picked up a win against Colorado College, 5-3 last night. Shot from the point off the draw. King got a glove on that one. Oh, that was a dangerous shot. Headed for the wide post. Maine trying to break a man. They can't. 17 to go in the period. Brought back in by Spartak. They lose it. Puck against the boards. A battle for it there. And nobody can get a stick on it. A lot of pushing and shoving, and the puck rolls out to center. Four seconds to go in the period. Looks like that's the way this one's going to end as Spartak can't get a shot off. So Spartak gets the only goal, Braguin at 14.08. But again, Maine playing right up to the level of the Soviet team as far as the strategy is concerned. And they're down by only one going into the final period of play as the Bears head into the dressing room. We will have the new University of Maine president, Dr. Dale Lick, joining Joe Carr when we come back for our second intermission at the end of two, Spartak two, main one. I don't think there are many people who came here tonight, or those of you who may be listening and watching, who expected the score of this game to be two to one at the end of two periods. Maine is in this game. They've done what Sean Walsh wanted defensively. They now have changed goaltenders at the other end. It'll be Goloshumov, Sergei Goloshumov, who through two periods has made, oh, has to, has had to make only eight saves. Scott King in two periods of play came away with 23. Maine has been outshot in the first period 11 to 2 and 14 to 7 in the second. So Maine down by one, wins the faceoff, and we are underway period number three. This has been a good one. Maine on a power play with 54 seconds remaining on it. They get it down into the Spartak end, but it's going to be intercepted. Maine will get it right back. David Capuano up against the boards. Capuano trying to drive it down deep to Major to Corkum. Corkum can't get a stick on it. Gumayev is able to clear it out. Eric Gumayev clearing the puck down into the main end. Al Loring going back to get it. Loring and King, tandem goaltenders for Maine. Sean Walsh has traded them in and out of games this season. Just swapping them off in rotation. David Capuano. David, the young freshman from Rhode Island. His brother Jack and he, roommates and teammates on this club. Puck, Maine battling against the boards. Bobby Corkham cannot get it. Taken away by Shepelev. And uh, Spartak's able to clear it out. Loring will watch it roll back the other way in behind the net. Spartak is going to be back to get it, however. Good heads-up play. They work to the high slot, shorthanded effort. David Capuano's got it knocked down. Penalty coming up on Spartak as they touch it up. So with one man coming out of the box, they'll send another right in. As Maine will get to continue a power play, Maine will now have their third power play chance of the game on that tripping or hooking call, whichever the official desires to call that one and Maine's got another shot at it here so Joe they're getting their chances with a man advantage that's a good break for the Bears because having that power play cut in half by the intermission between the second and third period really broke up the momentum of it now instead of having half a power play they have one and a half in this period so they'll have a chance to get it going Dems only 106 into the period it will be a tripping call on Kurdine. Kurdine out for tripping Maine on a power play again out of their own end Jack Capuano Weinrich Capuano into the middle, dumped in by Mike Golden on the rink wide into the corner. Back over to get it, Martinoff. Martinoff being tied up, Maine trying to keep it in. Jay Mazur over to help, Weinrich will have to step up. Weinrich holding it in, Weinrich on the other wing. Shot by Jack Capuano, deflected out in front off Lalonde. And Maine will get it back. Jay Mazur behind the net, tied up. Mazur, good strength. Trying to keep that puck alive. Jay, one of Maine's big players, 205-pound forward, but he can't control this one. Cleared out. And that center ice... Spartak will rag it. Bragin. Bragin got it over to Tumanev. Tumanev holding. Bragin breaking for the net. They got a man in the high slot and they got him open. Coming in. Shot saved by Loring. Oh, they got around the defenseman that time and had a great chance on it as Sergei Fokin, the defenseman. Golden will clear it back out. Tumanev intercepts. Going back into their own end. 
He'll just rag it back. 57 seconds remaining on the main power play. There's trailing 2-1 intercept. Bobby Corkum, high slot, centered shot, deflected out in front by Golden. Rebound centered back by Golden, taken away by Tavaniev. And they clear it out. 44 seconds of the main power play. Loring will hold it up behind the net. Coming back to get it will be Eric Weinrich. Weinrich, the scouts have said, is the best defenseman in the country. Just made a bad play to Mayanov. He's in, and he missed the shot. Martinov had the shot, and he lost the puck. Cleared back out to center. David Capuano, Nonus now. Nonus over to Weinrich. <laughs> you know it, just when I was going to brag about him. <laughs> He dumped one in the end. Eric won't do that very often, believe me. He's an outstanding player. And a real chance to make the Olympic team. Maine's number five, Eric Weinrich. Good play as they pin it up against the boards on the far side. Igor Mishukov, wearing number 27, a forward out there. This roster of this club has changed three times since the announcement was made that this team was going to be coming to Maine. As the Soviet Union officials in charge of their hockey program have in a sense rejuvenated this team by giving it some younger players. Spartak able to clear this out. Only six seconds of the main power play now. Loring with a man bearing down on him. Gets it away to Claudio Scrum and to Jenkins. Penalty is over. Teams are back at full strength. Main 0 for 3 in power plays. Mike McHugh breaks in left wing. Goes to the corner. Behind the net. Looking to center. Dumped it out to Jenkins. Who never got a stick on it. Rolled between his legs. Back the other way. Solomita down the left wing side. Holding man in front. Centered. Oh, just missed it. Another one of those two-on-ones. And it'll be iced by Claudio Scrabin. Chance that time. It'll not be icing. Have to touch it up, remember, under international rules. The goaltender played it. Maine never had a chance that time. Back the other way. Brought in. Left wing side into the corner. Jammed up. Zbine lost it to Jenkins. Centered to Zbine. Tipped wide of the net. Going over to get a Guy Perron. He will jam it out. This will be icing. If they can get back and touch it up. And they will this time. We've got a break in the action with a score. The Moscow Spartak 2 in Maine 1. Face-off will be to the right of the main goaltender. What a chance they had on this one. Keep her on. Didn't break that pass up initially. Soviet Union had a two-on-one chance, but the return pass was wide on that last scoring opportunity. Now they keep the puck in the main end. In front, pass knocked away. Good play, Santini. Penalty coming up. We've got a holding call, as I think that's going to be on Spartak. In the crease area, Jack Capuano got knocked down, and Maine is going to get a power play here on a holding call. Great stick handling in the high slot. Poked away and recovered, but on the side of it, right beside Al Loring, you saw it just before the puck was poke checked away. Oleg Marinini. He'll pick it up for holding at 4-10, and Maine has their fourth power play. Now, Maine's had chances here. This, they are 0 for 3 in power play, so the Bears with a chance to tie it up right here on a power play opportunity. Eric Weinrich, Jack Capuano, they come to center, tipped in, can't control it. Martinov is able to get it out of the zone. Maine right at the blue line, trying to keep it in. They can't. Shepelev, Shepelev tied up against the boards, but he's able to drive it back to the main zone. 2-1 game, Spartak on top, but Maine is in it. They need that tying goal. Christian Lalonde takes the stand-up check. Knocked away. Maine keeps it in. Wensley down deep. In shot. Save. Rebound. Backhand shot. Save. And covered up. Gulashubov covered up two that time as Maine had a great chance. David Wensley opened on the left wing side. And the rebound sitting out in front. The 21-year-old Spartak goaltender made the plays. Dave Wensley's probably been Maine's hottest forward lately. He's been playing extremely well the last three weeks. Nice move, pulled up in the face-off circle, and you can see how quick Goloshimov is. The leg and the left hand out there, got a piece of it. Ended up beside him, and he had the awareness and the mobility to cover up on it. Almost on the rebound, Christian Lalonde, the main freshman from LaSalle, Quebec. Mike Golden will take the draw, main on a power play, a minute 25 left on it. Golden is going to get chased. I, no, I guess not. Main assistant coach Bruce Crowder, with all his years of play, professional in college, has never played against the Soviet team. Crowder, the former Boston Bruin player, puck centered out in front. Main can't get it, rolls out to center ice. Main getting the puck where they want it, though, out in that low slot area. Jack Capuano on the power play deep in his own end. Runs into Eric Weinrich, who got driven back deep into his own zone. 
Now Weinrich with a puck. Weinrich centers to Major, and Major never saw it. Cleared back the other way. One minute left on the main power play. Hard checking down behind the main net. Bears break it out. Mike Golden. Golden off the boards to Major. Had to wait for it. Major dumped it in the middle. Defenseman's right there. And they clear it back out again. Why the Spartak players rarely out of position. Sergei Shefalev again making that play. Bob Beers gets it up. 41 seconds left. Cleared back ahead. And Spartak will bring it back into the zone. And Shefalev is dumped in a penalty coming up on Maine. Mike McHugh going to get called on the hook. So Maine will lose the power play. They had 34 seconds remaining on it. And at 5.36. Goodbye, Mike McHugh. McHugh is beaten. And... Clear and simple case of a, getting the stick under there. Hook could have been a trip. Either one, same thing as the uh, result. Two minutes in the penalty box. Third power play for Spartak now. As Mike McHugh goes in the box. Hooking at 536. Face off top of the right wing circle. Main in. Back to get it Bob Beers. Main shorthanded now. Spartak has a power play goal that put him ahead in the second period at 14.08. Bargeen got it. Dave Nonis drives it back in the other way. The speedster's out there for Maine. Todd Jenkins in behind the net. Dave Nonis takes a whack at it and drives it into the other corner. Spartak with Maine up on the forecheck now, losing it at center. Dave Nonis again coming back the other way. He lost the puck. Great stick check. Oh, vicious hip check at center ice. Just stood him up and knocked him over. Bob Beers. Great check on Bregeen. Now the puck loose at center. Bergeen was able to free it up, taken by Kerdine. Third back into the middle on the power play. Drop pass, low slot shot. That one right over the net. What chances they get. They are so close. Bergeen back out in front. Shot deflected wide. Still kept in by Spartak. Bergeen plays it back out onto the point. Man in front, saved by Loring and cleared out. Oleg Marinen almost had that one. He was in the low slot, trying to tip it in. They skate so fast that you cannot keep up with them once they get down low. And they pass so well. 54 in the Spartak power play. 2-1 Spartak lead. Brought in Tumenev. Tumenev dumped it down behind the net. Weinrich just throws it out in the middle all the way down the other way. Well, Ashoma off the goaltender. will leave it back out. 40 seconds on the power play. Spartak in their own end regrouping. Zubilov. Zubilov got his pass off. They weave at center. Main still dropping back, shorthanded here. Brought straight down the middle, overskated. Main cleared it off the boards. Major got it back and clears it out. Bruce Major intercepted the pass and cleared it out. Steve Santini with Bobby Corkum come out on the penalty killing unit along with Bob Beers and Dave Nonis. Turning up ice, Spartak, Shepelev in the middle, dropped it off, high slot. Here comes the weave again. Top of the circle shot. That one was wide. Rebound to the point. That shot taken by Vadim Tukhanov. Poked out to the bottom of the circle. Centered. Taken away Bobby Corkum. Corkum with a stick on it. Clears his out. And it'll roll all the way down the other way. Penalty is over. And it's held up behind the net in the corner now. As Goloshumov, the goaltender, goes down. So Maine kills off the penalty. It is still a 2-1 game. Black Bears are very much in it. They are putting on a show here tonight. As Maine's playing a very disciplined game kind of game they've had played against them this year by Northeastern. Exactly, the same thing. The fans are really starting to show their appreciation, too. They're cheering on the main penalty killers who did such a nice job. This is really becoming quite a story that this is only a 2-1 to one game against such tremendous competition. Remember, Spartak has beaten Hershey 9-3 to three and New Haven 7-4, to four, tying Binghamton 4-4, four, four, all of those American Hockey League teams playing in the same level, same league as the Mariners. And here's the first college team they faced, and the Maine Bears are skating right with them. All right, face-off, won by Spartak. Jack Capuano intercepted, but has to wait for his teammates to get on side. He goes back to Weinrich, to Lalonde in. Lalonde trying to center David Capuano. Turnaround shot is wide on the short side. Maine will lose this one and back the other way. Prohorov in the middle, drop pass. Prohorov, the youngster, gets it back in the corner. Vitaly Prohorov lost it. Maine trying to break out Kent. Lalonde couldn't get it. They'll go back. Goaltender has to play it. And again, there will be no icing. Tunikov back to get it. Lalonde and Tunikov collided behind the fire net. Spartak's got it back out, though. Near side, Prohorov, the youngster. Prohorov behind the net, only 18 years old. Prohorov just drops the pass off. Out in front. Oh, what a save by Al Loring. And he's got it under the pad. Al Loring, a magnificent save on Zebine, Alexandra Zebine. And Loring and... Scott King putting on a show at net for Bain. Oh, he's picked up where King left off. 
Very crisp, quick pass right across the goal mouth. Loring slid across, stopped it down low. Zebine getting the chance on that one, could not convert. Boldine will take the draw against Todd Jenkins. 11.32 to go in the game. Main trailing, but it's only 2-1. to one. Claudio Scremen, defenseman, freshman, back behind him to Beers. Up along the boards, Maine unable to clear it out of the zone as it's kept in at the point, comes back to Scremen. Maine trying to break one of their speedsters now. Puck rolls all the way down the other way. Nikolai Davidkin. Davidkin cleared around the boards back to center. Scrumman's got to come back to get it. 6-1, 183-pound British Columbia native. Mike McHugh brings it in on the pass from Scrumman. McHugh takes a shot wide of the net. Rebound Guy Perron. Perron had it poked away from him. Scrumman steps up, kept it in. Claudio Scrumman dumps it down deeper. Some ferocious skating going on right now. Scrumman, right point, trying to keep it in. Can't. Gets up against the boards. Guy Perron shoots it in wide of the net. Goloshomov cleared it off to the sideboards. Good checking by that main line. Good work by Maine to keep the puck down in the other end, and that's where the faceoff's going to be with 10.48 to go in the third period. This forward line has played well tonight. Another one that has played well again is uh, that fast line with Jenkins centering. They're an exciting line. The strangest statistic on the main sheet is that Todd Jenkins has not scored a point. If you watch him play, you just can't understand why he hasn't put something in the net or had at least an assist. It's very strange because he's always in the middle of plays. He's the type of player who makes things happen. On the faceoff, Golden took it from Maine but lost it to Temenev. And Spartak clears it out. Dave Nonas right there to get it. Nonas will dump it right back in. In behind the net for Spartak. Gameyev. Gameyev got it up along the boards to Polkin. And back the other way. Spartak on the attack. He'll drop it down into the corner. Maine will come back to get it. Golden around the boards. Make no mistake about one thing. These teams that play from the Soviet Union on the road do not like to lose. It is not looked upon favorably by the officials of hockey. Bought in by Golden. Golden dropped it off. Bruce Major. His shot. Rolls in and it's knocked away by the defenseman. Good chance for Major. Back the other way. Spartak. Good check of the blue line. Nice play. John Baker. Dave Nonis the other way to Golden. Wide. Right side. Whistle. And that may be, oh, Bobby Corkum got driven into the net at the other end, and the net came off its moorings, and that's the reason for the whistle. Good play by John Baker that time as he met the forward coming in over the blue line and knocked him away. Maine had a pretty good break that time, but Corkum had gone into his own goaltender and knocked the net off the magnets that are used here rather than the old post. John Baker, the senior from Natick, Massachusetts, the type of defenseman you can watch him play a whole game and hardly even notice he was there, but his teammates know he's there. He's effective, and he's been playing He's been playing well and been playing a lot lately. David Capuano won the draw, but it's going to be intercepted. And Spartak coming back the other way, brought down by Kurdine. Kurdine checked off the puck. Jack Capuano trying to feed it out to his brother David Kant. Shot into the slot area. Weinrich is there over to Wensley. Wensley will just tip it out through center. Igor Martinov, 22-year-old defenseman, dumps it back to Tanikov. Tanikov back on the right wing side now. Here comes Shepelev. Shepelev in the middle, knocked down. Weinrich cleared it up and out. Good checking by Maine right now, but they've got to get that goal to tie this up. 9.29 to go, 2-1. to one. Spartak leading Maine. Shepelev, great move, fanned on a pass. Weinrich gets it. Weinrich's pass is intercepted. Shepelev dumped it into the low slot, goes off a skate. Into the corner, Weinrich has it. Weinrich going behind the net, holds up, reverses direction. Eric Weinrich trying to break the man, Lalonde. Lalonde will get it and will dump it in. Maine will change up. Going back to get it behind the net, Igor Martinov. Martinov gets it up and not quite out. Kept in. Guy Perron. Perron holding. Lost it in the corner. Throws it behind the net to, Jen to Mike McHugh. McHugh trying to get to Jenkins in front. McHugh driven off the puck. And it's knocked back behind the net by Martinov. Good play. Martinov taking the pressure off that time. Back to the middle. Zebine. Zebine centered. Lost it. Rolls in front. Still in the slot area. Tipped to the corner. Prohorov couldn't keep a stick on it. And Bob Beers can't get it. Prohorov gets it back. Prohorov, bottom of the circle, dumped the pass out. Zebine. Zebine back out along the blue line. Maine can't get it out of there. It's going to be kept in. Davidkin's pass. Tipped right out in front by Prohorov. Prohorov, the youngster, around Jenkins. Back in front, Zibbein. Zibbein drops it down even deeper, gets it back in the corner. Zibbein going around the net, shorthanded, tried to put it in short side, could not do it. Kept in, right side, and 
and it's Solomaton. Solomaton, a shot, save made by Loring. Solomaton behind the net, kicks the puck away. We're even up here, but it looks like a power play. Solomaton, a shot, deflects off Dave Nonis. Maine needs to ice it. Nonis will bring it out himself. Nonis, Maine wants a change, and Nonis will dump it in. Good play by Al Loring at the other end. Spartak going back to get it. Varnavsky with it. Two to one. Spartak leading. Varnavsky get the man in front. Matted and he's checked off the puck. Good play by Weinrich. Potential break that time. In behind the net it is still loose. Golden's got it. Golden trying to get it up and out. Can't. Gumayev centering. Knocked away by Scremen. Scremen has it taken away by Solomitan. Solomitan tied up. Major can't control it though. Spartak's pass intercepted. Major lost it. Now picked up by Scremen. Claudio Scremen over to Mike Golden. Golden will dump it in. Maine changing up again. Maine having to play all defense right now. Veldemir Zublov. Zublov, the defenseman, over his own blue line to the red line. And that typical circling at center now as they weave at center ice. Varnavsky. Varnavsky brings it in. Lost it. David Capuano dumps it deep into his own end to Jack Capuano. Back over to Bob Beers. Beers, great pull away. Got the puck around the defender. Cleared up to David Capuano and immediately intercepted. Taken by Zublov. Pass at center is loose. Jack Capuano's got it to Wensley. Wensley's pass intercepted. Back the other way. Chance for a two-on-one break. Maine getting back. Centered. Rolls through the crease. Maine defenseman got back. Jack and David Capuano. To Menov. Dumped it back out onto the point. Taken away by Maine. Lalonde to Wensley. Wensley can't get around the defender. Poke checked away. Those great sticks. Valdemir Zublov knocked that one away. Victor Temenyev. Temenyev back in his own end. Each team completing changes here. Swept out through center. Weinrich has it. Eric backs it up to himself against the boards. Over to Mike McHugh. Q can't get a stick on it. Loose at center. Battle for it. McHugh comes away and flips it in. We have six minutes to go in the game. Two to one. Spartak leading, but only by a goal. What a finish this would be if Maine could get that next goal. If there's to be another one. Puck into the main end, jammed up against the boards, and we'll get a whistle and a faceoff. We've got a break in the action. Spartak two and the main one. Sean Walsh, knowing he is in this one and trying desperately to get a W in this exhibition game, as he looks on from behind the main bench. On the draw, Maine, Jax Capuano to Major. Major centering pass off the boards, tipped in by Bobby Corkum. Going back to get it, Tunikoff. Tunikoff behind the net. I want to tell you that the Spartak players are skating all out. I mean, they are digging in. They know they are in a game here, and they do not want to lose it. They have not lost yet. Rick's loose puck. Loring gets back in the net, held on to. Back out to the right point. Wind up, shot, save, Loring, rebound, score! And Sergei Shefalev on the rebound makes it a 3-1 to one game, and you just knew. Somewhere in this game, Sergei Shefalev was going to be heard from. And number 12 gets the third goal for Spartan. Kind of had a feeling if he scored, it would be a little more spectacular than just picking up a rebound. Slap shot inside the blue line. Loring made the save, but Shefalev was right on the doorstep. Waited patiently, found the spot, and picked it easily. Another so, look at it from the other side. Again, using that backhand so gracefully and so easily. Boy, oh boy, the 31-year-old knew what to do with that one. He held it on the stick momentarily, making sure that Loring was down before he picked it up and put it over it. So it is 3-1. to 14.45, the time of the goal. Maine now down by two. Eric Weinrich gets it over to Wensley. Dump back in and intercepted. Maine will have to take some chances now. This could open the game up a little bit. David King. David can checked off the puck. David Capuano gets it. Lalonde knocked him off. Lalonde in front. Could not get a shot off, but we've got a whistle and a penalty. Penalty coming up down at the far end. And it will be against Twartek. And Maine's going to have another power play. And this is where Maine is not converted. This will be their fifth power play of the game and it has to be frustrating for Sean Walsh and his crew to get power play chances and not be able to put the puck in the net that is what has happened to them Mishikov is going to go out on the penalty he tripped uh, David Capuano as Capuano was trying to control the puck along the sideboards on the left wing trying to work the puck in closer to the the uh, Spartak net 15.09, the time of the penalty. Maine will be off for the Christmas break after this, but they return in robust fashion. Number one team in the country, North Dakota, will be here 
on the 27th. We'd like to remind everybody with Maine having their great season, if you did not purchase season tickets, starting January 1, University of Maine is going to make a special offer. If you'd like to purchase season tickets on a pro rata basis, you'll be able to do that on January 1st and assure yourself of a chance for postseason tickets. That'll be on January 1. Call the athletic ticket office here at Maine. If you'd like to get season tickets, they will be prorated after January 1. Puck jammed up against the boards. Faceoff will be down in the Spartak end. Maine on a power play here with a minute 48 to go on it. Tonight's game very close to being a full house. If, if not so, there were a few tickets left shortly before game time. But they sure did come close. You don't see many spaces in the crowd tonight. Sure on. Face-off will be to the left. Bullish off the goaltender, who has played in all four of the Spartak games on this 10 game trip thus far. Shot by Wensley's deflected. Defenseman right out in front trying to break a man the other way. It'll roll in on Loring. Al Loring will play it. They had a man behind the defenseman. Solomiton was there but they couldn't get the pass to it. Dave Nonas now loses the puck in the corner. Zebine. Zebine behind the net. Zebine lost it. Nonas took it away and Wensley's got it. David Wensley coming up ice in the right wing. Gets it in the middle to Lalonde. Lalonde over to Mike McHugh. Hope checked away from him. Nonas comes away with it. Nonas can't get it. Rolls back to the point. Maine gets it on the other side. Wensley had a shot but the puck rolled off his stick. Maine able to keep it in down deep. Now it will be intercepted. Turn back the other way. Varnevsky is able to clear it out and it'll go the distance. Want to remind everybody, especially those here who may be listening on radio at the Elfon, there is a reception tonight at Wells Commons after this game. More than a reception. They want everybody to go. It's open to the public and the Soviet team is going to come over to have their post-game meal and they will mingle and uh, you'll get a chance to meet them. Major the other way. Backhand shot save. Rebound kicked up and out of play. So if you are here or in the area and would like to join the Soviet team and the main team for the post-game meal, which is really what it is, it'll be at Wells Commons. Major cutting in front, tried the one-headed shot. Mazur could not get in to get the rebound, broken up by the defense instead. Immediately following tonight's game on Channel 5, approximately 10 o'clock, downtown, the CBS show will be on. And at 11 o'clock, Alan Audette will be along with the news. Off the face of a shot on goal. Bola Shumov got it with a stick and knocked it away in the corner, tied up by Gumeyev, and a whistle and a face-off. Well, the fans have seen a little more, I think, than they expected tonight from the University of Maine team. The way they have played, maybe a little less than what they expected from the Spartak team, but I doubt it. Well, I'll tell you, they have skated. It's just that Maine's defense has not allowed them to play that wide-open game. Shot by Mazur. He fanned on it. Jay Mazur couldn't get it off. Back the other way. Weinrich back. He'll go one-on-one -on -one now as the puck is poked away. Nice play, Eric Weinrich. And he cleared it out. One-on-one -on -one situation. Not easy, and Breguin was in on him. Back the other end, though. Spartak right there to get it. They whip it out the center. Jay Mazur. Mazur's pass by everybody on the far side. Weinrich gets it. Eric trying to dump it in the middle. Has it intercepted. Gumayev's been out there all night long. Eric Gumayev playing defense number five. Had a lot of ice time. Jack Capuano. Eric Weinrich deep in his own end. Eric looking up ice. Gets it over. Bobby Corkum. Bobby, who'll be on the junior national team, shoots it in. Stick save made. Bola Shumanoff. Puck cleared back out and down into the main end. Power play is over. So Maine's 0 for 5 now in power plays. Back up through the middle. Todd Jenkins had it bounce over his stick. Intercepted. Great stick handling again. Cleared back down. Now shot out by Maine. Going back to get it will be Gumayev again. Gumayev and Martinoff have played a lot of defense. They've been together out there on the ice. Spartak with the man on the right wing side. Great pass again. Rekordov in. Dump. Lost. It. Good play, Dave Nonas poked it away. Just clears it around to Steve Santini. He drops it off to Bob Beers. Good backhand pass. Beers, puck in front of him. Comes over the blue line. Beers is in. Has Jenkins. Beers, Jenkins, shot! Great save! Rebound, Santini! Knocked away by the defenseman! The defenseman was in the net and covered up. Spartak will ice it. That was Maine's chance to cut this to a one-goal game right there. As the icing is called. What a play this was. First shot, that's a great save by the goaltender Goloshimov. Then the rebound came up, the save on Jenkins. That's the defenseman Tunikov who got in there and literally blocked Santini's shot. Made a leg save. Yo, that's some kind of a play. The defenseman got right back in the net. The goaltender had gone out to the left side. No way he would have made that second save. Sanzi was just frothing at the mouth on that one as Santini saw nothing but net. Uh, until Tunikov showed up, laid the block on it. All right, on the draw, it's out the center. Maine's got it. 
That's a key save right there. One of the turning points of the game. You keep track of those things. David Capuano drove it into the corner, but Shemilev is there to get it. Shemilev tied up by Lalonde, but Spartak gets the puck back, and they ram it around the boards, and they'll bring it out. Regine down the left wing side. It will be brought in by Kurdine. Kurdine down deep. Tried to center, hit the back of the net with it. Eric Weinrich turning up ice to Lalonde. Lalonde tips it around the defender, but it goes out of play. The faceoff will be out at center ice. It has been a real good game. Remember, last year was 11 to 1. So-called Kiev team, not as good as this team out there tonight. Christian Lalonde, one of Maine's forwards, another freshman, LaSalle, Quebec native. Mike McHugh, the Bowdoin, Maine native, wearing number 10 out there for Maine. What a job he's done. He's one of the speedsters for the Bears. He's got that C on his shirt for captain, but he's really the spark plug on this team. He makes things go, power play and and shorthanded all kinds of situations McHugh. Maine wants to take a timeout right here. There's only a minute 30 left to go. Sean Walsh will want to talk about drawing Al Loring out of the net here at some point. So with the timeout being taken, we'll have a chance to remind you about the University of Maine's games upcoming after the Christmas break with Alaska on the 29th. That's a Monday game that's going to be played down in Portland, Maine. And we hope all of you will have a chance to go see the Maine Black Bears play an Alaska team that's ranked number 14th in the country. Spartak head coach setting up his team defensively now. Maine and Alaska tickets are on sale at the Civic Center box office or you can get them at the University of Maine Athletic Office, and that will be on the 29th. And just prior to that, on Saturday here at the Elfon, we'll have the North Dakota team coming in here, the number one team in the country, Tony Herkus, who is on the Canadian Olympic team and uh, now playing back with them, one of the best in the country. Tony Herkus. Football tomorrow. San Francisco and New England. Good news for Patriots fans. We'll be able to catch that game at 1 o'clock on television. Herkus and probably Corey Mullen from uh, Minnesota are considered the best forwards in the West anyway. Maine, Bob Beers has it. Maine trying to get back in. It loses the puck. Break in. Shot. Score. Oh, what a singular play right there. That goal was in. No question about it. It went into the back of the net as Alexei Solomitan will make it a 4-1 game. And he did that all by himself. Solomitan single-handedly scoring a goal. He just blew by Nonis. All Nonis could do was take a dive at it. Look at that shot. Very, very little room to slide it in between Loring and the post. The near post. Loring almost covered it up and prevented any opportunity. Just about enough width for a puck. Outstanding play. It. It'll be about 18.40 on that one. Solom Eaton makes it a 4-1 game as Spartak comfortably in the lead now with a minute 11 to go in the game. But Maine has played a good one. Here's a breakaway. Loring coming way out. Knocks it away. Poked away by Dave Nonis to prevent a rebound goal. Maine clearing it out. It'll be Mike Golden. Bobby Corkham can't get it. Shepelev is there. As the goals have been by Tim Enyev, who got one. Bragin another. Shepelev and now Solom Eaton get one. And it is a 4-1 game in the final minute. Back in the main end. Cleared up by Jack Capuano. Maine's only goal, Mike McHugh, at 254, the first period. Breaking back in, Solomit and a shot saved by Loring. So each main goaltender's given up a couple of goals in the game, and they both played very well. All right, kept in by Spartak. In the corner, Jack Capuano. 27 seconds to go. Capuano's able to clear it out. Intercepted by Gumayev. Those here might want to stay. Teams will be lining up afterwards and also stay on the ice for a picture and exchange a couple more gifts. The Soviet Union has some flags that they are going to give to the main players as uh, those here will want to hang on for that. They have a Moscow flag that has the team emblem in the middle of it. The main players are all going to get that. There'll be some wheeling and dealing after the game. The uh, Soviet players like to trade for U.S. sticks. They love U.S. hockey sticks. You can trade for a tie that matches your shirt. That's maybe. right. <laughs> they give away pins, give away sticks. They don't give them away. They'll trade with you. They'll trade rubles for you. They're not supposed to do that, but if the KGB... There are three KGB on this trip that are traveling with the uh, Spartak team. They aren't particularly noticeable, unless you, I guess you're on Spartak. Then you know who they are. <laughs> It's cleared out to center. Claudio Scrimmon had it knocked away from him. And we're down to the final second. And that is it. 
A very good showing by the University of Maine against the Spartak team from Moscow, but Spartak will come away with their third win in four games. They'll be back in a moment. Final score, Spartak 4 and Maine 1. Spartak has beaten Maine by a score of 4-1, to 2-1 two to one after two periods of play. As you see the players breaking up after making those trades to which Gary was referring.